all right what's up it's paul here and these days i've always found myself in an argument of trying to find the best download manager for your android device among these three that is adm one dm and fdm and speaking of which i'm very sure you have at least one of these installed on your phone if at all you're into using download managers on your android device in today's video i'm going to be comparing these download managers and by the end of the video you and i will be able to tell which one is indeed the best all these apps can be downloaded for free from the play store and i'll be leaving their download links in the video description below so that you can go ahead and check them out in case you haven't since these apps are free of course one thing we should obviously expect are ads but of course there's an option of buying an ad free version for these apps for ADM, the ad-free version can be bought at £2.99, while for 1DM, it's at £1.79. Now, unlike the two, Free Download Manager doesn't have an ad-free version. And of course, I must say, there are less ads you come across while you're using Free Download Manager as compared to these other two. In terms of aesthetics and the overall user interface of all these three apps, then we both agree that Free Download Manager has the simplest and good-looking user interface compared to the other two where a lot of things are a bit mixed up and someone might get confused as he or she is trying to use 1DM or ADM as their download manager. But on the other hand, free download manager is the worst browser among these three download managers. And of course, from my experience as someone who has been using it, I've always got a hard time using this browser, mostly when a pop-up ad comes up and it's very hard for you to go back to the previous tab. This its browser doesn't even have an option of choosing between the different tabs that you have opened at the moment. Now, on the other hand, ADM and 1DM have very nice browsers and if you're very familiar with browsers like Chrome or Opera Mini, then you can easily use these inbuilt browsers. For the sake of comparison, I must say that the browser of ADM is the best because it has a number of good features and of course someone can easily configure it to get the best out of it. Now to compare these download managers in terms of settings, configuration and trying to get generally the best out of them. I must say that all these download managers have different ways in which they can be configured to get the best download speeds. The good thing about this is the fact that I've made separate videos showing you the best settings for these individual download managers and as always I'll be leaving links in the video description below so that you can go ahead and watch these videos in case you haven't. But if you are to compare these three of how easy it is to customize them then I must say that FDM obviously wins this race because it's a bit complicated for the other two when you're trying to configure and get the best settings for them compared to FDM where everything comes a bit preset. But speaking as someone who has used both the download managers and tried to get the best out of them, I obviously would recommend someone to use ADM but all you're looking for a download manager that has the best download speeds. But on the other hand, in case you're looking for a download manager that is easy to use and can give you a lot of features and options without going through a lot of hassle, then I must say that FDM is the right download manager for you though you're going to get a hard time while you're using its browser. So yeah, I believe this comparison video settles the argument of what is indeed the best download manager. Otherwise, the comment section is open and you can share with us the different ideas about these download managers. Catch you in the next one. Peace.